In this video, we're going to quickly look at the isolation property in CSS and we can see how useful this property is. So yeah, I have this simple example, div with a class of box and then I have this P with some text. For my style, this box has a background color of yellow and this is the basic style I have for the P here. Now let's say I introduce this after pseudo element which has a background color of purple. First, let me comment this Z index minus one. When I refresh, you can see that the purple comes in front of the yellow box but it also comes in front of the text but we want this purple to be behind the text then maybe you might want to introduce z index minus one so that it goes to the back of the text but that's not going to be the case instead by using minus one this after pseudo element goes to the back of the box and we can confirm that if i come here and i comment this background color yellow you can see the purple is just at the back so by removing this background color we can now see it but then how do we keep our our background color yellow but still ensure that the purple is between the yellow background and the text well this is where we can use the isolation property this property allows you to decide if an element should create a new stacking context or not and if you use auto here as you can see it says the elements are not isolated unless an operation is applied that causes the creation of a stacking context but we can also use isolate which is going to turn an element into a stacking context Context. And by doing this, when I refresh, you can now see that the purple now comes between the yellow background and the text. So what is happening here is that by using isolation isolate, we are creating a new stacking context for this box. And because that box is now isolated, even if we come here and we have Z index minus 1000, it cannot leave the yellow box. See, I'm refreshing here, but you can see it cannot go outside that stacking context. It is now isolated in that stacking context so whatever negative value you use is still going to be in that stacking context so we can keep this back as minus one and now we have this so when you're using isolation isolate is used for creating stacking context and this works very well when you are using z indexes or when you're using mixed blend mode let's quickly see an example with mixed blend mode let's say on this p we have a mixed blend mode of difference um for this to work let me remove this after studio element and let me remove this background color of yellow now if you come here we just have the text but we cannot see the mixed blend mode what if i try color bond this is not working well of course it's not working because i have isolation isolate so let me comment that part and let's say for the mixed blend mode i use hue now if i refresh you can see the text here it blends with the background but if i should come back here and i turn on isolation isolate because this is going to create a new stacking context now this text is not going to blend with the background ground of the box because the text is stuck inside the box it's isolated now if i refresh you see that blending does not apply anymore but i rarely use isolation isolate for blend modes i mostly use it for z index but depending on your use case this property may come in handy now if you don't know how stacking context works in css i have a more detailed video where i simplify how it works in css you should see that video somewhere on the screen and you can check out that video if you enjoyed this one please give it a like share with others and subscribe for more css tips like this